so I can create multiple user stories here. But why am I creating registration and login page? I have to explain you that. Let's go back and understand the project first, what you're going to do. And then we'll come back here. Okay. So let's understand the project which we are going to actually work upon in the Jira. So this is a demo Orange HRM website where we have to uh, register first. And once we have registered, we can log in. So once we have logged in, we can go to the admin tab. We can apply for leaves in this portal. So in the admin tab, we can search for system users. We can also look at the list of users available here. We can also go to the leave tab on the left navigation panel and then we can apply for leaves there and uh, we can check performances and my info and so on and dashboard also. So leave, uh, we can apply for leaves from here. Uh, so all these are the functionalities for this application right now. So what we can do, we can create a dummy project in the Jira and work on it. So let's go to the Jira portal back again. So I've, we have created an epic name Orange HRM website. Inside that we created two user stories for now. What I will do, I'll open the backlog tab in a new tab of the browser so that we can get an idea the, of the backlogs which are getting created now. So we can see here the two uh, pro, uh, user stories which we created here from the in the roadmap so we can create user stories directly here or um, in the backlog tabs so we can create new user stories here and we can also create tasks and subtasks from here or we can go to the backlogs and directly create so let's say I create more issues which will be dashboard apply leaves and so on okay so these are the uh, user stories which we have created now this is uh, I'm just writing the names of the user stories there's a lot of fields which we need to fill in when we are actually creating any issues in Jira so we we'll learn that in a while so let's say leave is uh, another uh, yeah left navigation panel so I'll just click on enter and now we can connect those these uh, user stories to the epic which we have already created we can do that now how do we do it there are two ways we can directly create issues from this create button which is available or what we can do is open uh, the already created issues and then uh, edit whatever editing we want to do uh, and the creation can be done from this button or directly from here so there are two ways right if I, we can choose the types of the issues and then create now let's say uh, the user stories are already created for user stories so what we do we'll edit this dashboard user story so what I have to do just click on it so when I click on it, it opens on the right side and then when we click on the ID of that particular issue it opens up in a new tab okay so you can check the URL it says orange hrm jira demo dot uh, atlation dot net slash browser and then slash the id is mentioned which is oh which is the key which got created uh, because of the project name which we have given which is orange hrm so oh hyphen the id which is four now here we can see that we have to uh, fill in a lot of fields uh, which can be either optional or mandatory which is all set by the jira admin so you can see here there's an option to attach screenshot or references if you want to let's say if i just click on this it will open my local machine and i have i can attach any screenshot for reference let's say it can be a screenshot or it can be a document which i have kept based on which i am raising this issue so brd srs whatever i can attach it here see my local machine open now uh, add a child issue let's say if it is this is a user story i can create a task associated with it using this button link issue will come back to it just hang on now let's say i have i'll add a description so this user story is about creating the dashboard page uh, we can write more about like uh, testing you know coding designing and testing it so all activities will be included as a part of this user story coding designing and testing it so let's say this is a general description which I have just written randomly. Then uh, what else we can add here is uh, first of all assign this issue to somebody. So somebody from the team how to create a team and all will learn about it. So let's say I've just assigned it to myself right now. Labels is something which we'll get back 
and then sprint so we have not created any sprint so we it will be empty for now and story point is also something which i have to get back so uh, a reporter is me but the person who with with whose id i am logged in right now is the person who is the reporter and uh, this is the status this is the status of uh, the uh, the current issue which is to do so this is the workflow basically so the workflow of any user story is to do in progress and done here which is set it can be changed right so that is there uh, now uh, there are few more fields which we should talk about so uh, we'll come back to this section wherein we can comment and see the history and all and then there is something called uh, watcher which is this option the eye option watcher and then there is a vote option then sharing this issue uh, with other teammates and then more actions which include if i click on it so we can see here we can add a parent we can move this ticket we can clone this ticket as in the similar ticket with all the skeletons will be created i can delete this ticket and export and all so we'll uh, get back to all the features but for now we have understood that okay if i'm going to create a user story we can directly do it from this button or from the backlog section and fill in the important fields here now let's say i add a child issue what i can do i can also add epic name here uh, i'll just show you how to do that yeah we can see here add epic so let's say if i want to add epic so this is the epic which is already there so this issue is linked to the epic now that's how you can directly add an epic and you can see that the roadmap the breadcrumbs got created that the project epic and the user story what else uh, we can do right here is to learn how to create a child issue so i'll click on the add a child issue so the child issue gets section opens up so what i have to do is to write the issue name so let's say development task create so you can okay so, uh, we cannot directly create task uh, using uh, adding a child issue it will it, it has a, a tendency of creating a sub task directly so it, it got created so what i can do i can uh, just delete this for now i can create a task from this button okay so what i do is just open this ticket in a new tab and delete so i'm here oh it's six i have opened and then i'll delete it so more actions i'll go to this part here and if i just want to delete it i can delete it. delete it now so it got it got deleted now what i have to do is i have to go back to the backlog section and create tasks okay associate and we can uh, then later on see how to link issues to a particular uh, user story so let's say i go back to the backlog here and i'll create new issue which will be of task type let's say task okay so the task will be developing registration page development of registration page is one of the task then i can similarly create um, testing of the registration page okay so this is how i can create tasks and sub tasks are not mandatory if you want to actually break down the uh, bigger task to smaller or uh, uh, sub task we can do that so testing of registration page then uh, designing and so on so there can be different tasks now similarly uh, i have not linked them i have not linked them yet to any of the user stories but i can do that now similarly i'll, I'll create a development of uh, login and testing of login so i'm just writing some short forms then development of dashboard and development of login then we can do development of oh by mistake i just wrote login i should have written dashboard here so what i'll do i can just click on this it will open on the right side and i can just make the changes whatever i want to so let's say a development of uh, dashboard i want to write so i'll just do an edit here and i can change it to dashboard okay now so i've created tasks associate uh, which i have to link now and then i will also create task related to leave 
so similarly i just create dev of leaf and testing test of leaf okay now the task is to link these two so let's say i'm here on the development registration page which opens on the right side i can either open it work here or i can just open it in the new tab so let's open it in a new tab so that you know uh, i can show you properly that how we can attach or link it to the user story number 2 oh2 so we have to link this to oh2 so what we have to do is let it open so let's say I would, i'll just want to link this issue to oh2 so i have to go to link issues section and from there i have to search for oh2 so here link issues okay so this is a, a task which i want to link it to a story so when i click on link issue so they will uh, give us uh, a lot of options how do you want to link as in it is just related to or it is blocking something and so on so mostly we'll do related to relates to see the options are is blocked by let's say a user story is blocked by a bug so in that case the uh, relationship uh, can be established like this or blocks let's say a particular uh, bug blocks some other use to is cloned by let's say like it is a similar or duplicate uh, relationship so clones and duplicate duplicated by and duplicates so cloning is a uh, wherein there is a similar skeleton but not exactly the same duplicate is a similar issue uh, maybe duplicate usually is used in case of bugs right relates to is the most uh, safest option available here so oh2 i need so what i'll do i'll just write oh hyphen 2 so it will give me the registration page user story so i have linked this to the registration page user story so similarly i can change the url here and 8 see here. i can add epic any time whenever i want to add epic to any of the issues i am creating so i can add epic here so because we have created an epic so we can have a road map like that i can directly link issues here so when i do it it's we can have to select relates to and then and then we can write oh2 so that's how we do linking of issues in a uh, jira okay so registration page i have linked now um apart from this uh, we have uh, more things to learn right now uh, so uh, we uh, we are left with uh, options which is creating sub task add a child issue then uh, we learn how to change the status so let's say i have already started working on it so i can just change it to in progress if i want to right that's how status is or the workflows will uh, move forward as in in case of any issues so this is how you just choose and what happens next i'll tell you, if you change the status here in the board the position moves so that we'll see now apart from that there is assignee which we have already talked about uh, which we have to know the team so uh, creating a sub task how to add more people in the team labels sprint and story point estimation is something which we'll be learning in the later sessions so uh, when we connect next we'll learn how to create a bug and also sprint and all the other leftover topics we have to discuss so thank you for now